My name is Dennis Buckmaster. I'm a professor of agricultural and biological engineering at Purdue University. I also serve as a Dean's Fellow for Digital Agriculture. This particular video is specifically about our mobile devices as things. They are on the internet, so they are a component in the Internet of Things. And so this video is about one specific uh, web app or application cloud storage solution called Trello. It's available at Trello.com. It's available across platform Android, iOS, and any web browser on any device that can access the internet. And it can in help you increase your communications and records keeping. So I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of how you might use Trello either on a farm or in any agribusiness or any other business for that matter. Uh, but let's go take a look at specifically Trello.com. When you go to Trello.com, there's a very useful uh, help screen. And I'm not going to take the time at the moment for you to read all of this. But it's a very user friendly platform. Hopefully at the end of this video, you'll agree with that. At the first time you go there, of course, you need to sign up. Uh, the beautiful thing about Trello is that it's free. It's my favorite price. Uh, with the free version of Trello, you get an unlimited number of boards, an unlimited number of cards, an number, unlimited number of lists, which I'll explain in a moment. You can have 10 megabytes per uploaded file, and you also have the option of the two-factor login, which is a little bit more secure than just the password alone. So that's sort of the uh, entry place uh, but I've already logged in in a different browser so that I can demonstrate it to you. So I'm going to start first with uh, this fake organization called Acme Farms. And if I can first explain how Trello is organized. If you use computers much at all, you will know about drives, folders, and files. And so a lot of our computer files we would organize is on a drive. We would have folders and subfolders under those and subfolders under those. And eventually we would have files of all kinds of types, pictures, documents, spreadsheets, etc. Uh, in the case of Trello, it's a little bit different. You can have an organization or a team. Under that team, you would have a board. And what you're looking at here is a board. On that board are lists. And on each list is a card. And on each card can be lots and lots of information. So just to revisit, it's very different than uh, folder file. It is board, list, card. So I think the best way to demonstrate this is just to talk through it. So here is my fake farm, Acme Farms. And I might have lists like this, an equipment list, uh, and I'll just take one at a time and go through them. On the equipment list, for example, I could have the purple 240 tractor. And I would start a card for that maybe when I first purchased it. I would put the, so uh, the uh, serial number on this one. It was a boiler up 12345 is the serial number of that tractor. We purchased it on this date. It had that many hours for this price. And then whatever other notes I want to make regarding that tractor. Then in the future, what we might add to this card could be uh, the maintenance records. So who? Uh, so I might mention that the oil was changed on. I'll just make up a date here. Uh, Three sixteen nineteen. Since we bought it in the December of that date, uh, and when I save that card, you'll notice that because I'm logged in as me, it autom automatically tracks. Who made that comment? Who added that information on the card? So it's like an automatic audit of how did this get updated? So we can think we could continually add information to this uh, card, which is the records about a certain tractor. So we might uh, use that in lots of different ways, just to track maintenance, track usage, and that sort of thing. Uh, I also have a gold combine. I just wanted to make sure that you saw the serial number of my gold combine, which is peaked for all to see. Uh, but I could do a similar thing for every piece of equipment on my farm. Have a card and keep track of it. So the beauty of this is not just for me to have this record, but if I have other, and I would most likely, have other workers on my farm, they would have access to the same board. So that 
We don't have to have the dashboard notebook that's always in the wrong place. This record would be available to all of the trusted individuals on the farm via their phone, via this web app, which you're looking at right now. Uh, but I also have the phone and it's uh, on Android as well as iOS. So there's an example of an equipment list. Let's do the parts and supplies needed. Let's suppose uh, we, in the case here, we generally shop at two places so far, the big equipment store and the small town supply store. But on the big equipment store, uh, we might have a list of things that the next time someone is in the neighborhood of the big equipment store, they should stop to get chisel plow points, the oil filter for the purple 240 tractor, and a bucket of grease for our automatic grease gun. Now, uh, so we could add to that at any moment in time other things that we need. For example, uh, the belt for hay baler. Uh, well, I would need to give a little bit more detail there. Which belt? So here is the drive belt for the pickup on the hay baler. Well, I don't need to document the whole thing. I would just be sufficient with that because on a separate card, I probably have what is the hay baler that we have. So that even if someone who's untrained, they've never seen that baler before, by the time they get to the store, they see the list, you go up to the parts counter, I need to drive out for a hay baler. Well, what's your hay baler? Well, they, they could also then pull it up on their phone. This is the baler that we have. It's the serial number. We bought it from you, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And you would get exactly the right part. In the case uh, that there might be confusion, maybe you're looking for chisel plow points and you want to make sure that you get the right chisel plow points. Well, there happens to be a method by which we can add a photograph to the card from my phone. So let me demonstrate that. I'll close this card, go to my phone, open up my Trello, get to my Acme Farms organization, and let's go to the big equipment store, and I need to add a photo. So it's add attachment on my phone app. I will take a photo. Of course, I don't have a chisel plow here in this uh, computer, uh, in this recording studio. Uh, but I will just take a picture of the computer here with uh, up, uh, as its current screen. And I see that it's OK. I will hit OK. So I've done that on my phone. And now I want to show you that when I go to the big equipment store, it now includes that photo that I just took on my phone. And I'm not connected. This is not like magic. This is a Wi-Fi connection of my phone to the cloud. So there is, when I went to the big equipment store card, I would see I'm supposed to get a chisel plow point, And this could have been an exact photo of this is the chisel plow point that I'm looking to get at the store. So it removes lots of miscommunication because you can have a photo of exactly what you want to get. So you could have other lists. So these are just some ideas of lists like regarding your equipment, the parts and the supplies you need to get various places. You can have to-do lists. You can have task lists for different employees on your farm. Uh, in this case, I just labeled it weekly task list, things that we have shared responsibility, any one of us on the farm could and should do these things weekly. And so here's one, we should always check the fuel storage tank and if it ever gets a third or less, someone needs to place an order. So uh, we could add a comment. So here it is, uh, let's suppose we were doing this back in uh, January. It was checked, I checked it on 115.19 and it's at two-thirds full. So it's at least been checked. Now everybody would be able to look and see, well, we don't need to check that because it's already been done. The next time we need to do it is, is the next week sometime. Uh, so we could track those things and it's a perpetual list. So we can have an unlimited number of lists, although you would want to design them wisely, of course. We can have an unlimited number of cards and uh, we can in addition to uh, linking or adding photos to a card, we can also add 
uh, let's suppose I had a digital, I don't have a digital copy, but if I had a digital copy of the operator's manual for this purple 240 tractor, I could attach that file from my computer, from somewhere else in Trello, from my other cloud storages that I access that I may have. Of course, if I link, uh, well, if I attach the file, it's actually held in Trello. If I attach it by link, so if I put a hyperlink here, for example, drive.google.com slash and a whole bunch of characters, that actually is a file. I've made that up, so that's not true. But if that was a file, then I would have to be sure that I have the proper sharing privileges on that hyperlink so that others in the farm organization could actually get that file had it, had it been there. So you can either add a hyperlink content, a photo, or attach the actual file to a card. So that's enough about a farm. Uh, let's shift gears a little bit, get out of Acme Farms, go back to my boards. I've got another fake organization called YBI Supplies. Uh, it stands for Your Best Inputs. Uh, so this is a store, uh, and I could have different types of lists. So in this case, maybe I have inventories, I could have orders to fill, I could have things that need attention, any other thing that I might want to remember myself or communicate with other workers in the business. And to realize that this is a way to communicate from uh, the subordinates to the boss, as well as from the boss to the subordinates, from peer to peer. It's a way of uh, getting information across, letting everybody, it's sort of like a party line, everybody in the business knows all of these things that are on these cards. So uh, if this was a, an input crop input supply store, then of course they'd have some fertilizer and lime and seed and chemicals and things like that. So we could just have a card that was inventory that uh, continually got updated. And then here's an order, Purdue Pete wants 50 tons of lime. We can indicate where is that supposed to be delivered. If I had a Google Maps link to an exact location of where you pull into the field and where it should be dropped off in the field, then I could add that link to this sheet. So there is your quick introduction to Trello. Trello.com, it's free, uh, has relatively unlimited capacity, although not necessarily in the attachments that you put on cards. Uh, but again, it's available on multiple platforms, also via the web. Uh, it is as secure as the password of the two-factor authentication that you generate. You can keep some of those uh, boards and lists private to yourself, or you can share them with work colleagues, family members, etc. So I hope that uh, your use of Trello can increase your record keeping and your communication with your uh, collaborators and other people that you do business with.